This short tutorial will describe using the Pearl Growing Search Strategy to find additional relevant sources for your research topic in Web of Science. Pearl Growing is a search strategy that focuses on a single document that you have already identified as being relevant to your topic. From this document, keywords, phrases and citations can be used in a subsequent search. From the results of these searches, other relevant documents are identified and the process is repeated. You will be familiar with the basic search screen of Web of Science and may have used it to identify your core relevant article. If you are researching the topic of plant branching, you would enter a search such as this. However, in the case of pearl growing, we are using a particular article as the core of our search and so adding the author of the paper makes retrieving the article from the database more straightforward. In the results screen you can identify your core paper and click on the title to move through to the full record of the article. One of the unique features of Web of Science is that it is a citation index. This means that there are links between all of the articles that cite each other. There are links to papers cited by your core article and to the more recent papers that cite your core article in their reference lists. First, click on Times Cited to view papers that cite your core article. Some of the papers will not be relevant to your search topic, but you can select the ones that are by clicking on the checkboxes. To keep these citations for later use, then select Add to Marked List. You will then see an orange number to the top right of the screen that indicates how many article records are stored in your marked list. Click on the back arrow to return to your core paper. This process can be repeated for the cited references. Select papers that you think might be relevant and add them to your marked list. final link in the Citation Network section, View Related Records, is slightly different to the other two. These articles do not necessarily link to your core article, but are included because there is an overlap in the sources they cite in their reference list. For example, the reference list of the first article here and the core article we are basing our research on share 26 references in common. When selecting articles to add to your mark list, you may notice that some of the articles are already marked with an orange tick next to them. This indicates that you've already added them to your marked list. At this point, you can see that you now have nine records in your marked list and you can click on the tab here to view the list. Scroll down the page and you can see your list of relevant records. At this stage you can click through to the individual article records and you can perform the same type of searches with these articles. You can select relevant articles from their citation network and add them to the same marked list. Web of Science does not contain full text documents, but depending on the resources of your institution, you may be able to link through to a full text version by clicking on the linking buttons below the article on the list. At any point, if you have navigated far away from your original core document and wish to return, you can click the orange Back to Search ribbon at the top of the page. This will take you back to the search page with your original search parameters entered in and you can use it to return to the core document. When you have completed your search, you should return to your marked list. There are three main options for exporting the sources that you have identified during your pearl growing search of Web of Science. You can print out your list of records. You can email the list of records to yourself. 
or you can download the list of records directly to a management system like EndNote, either on desktop or to the EndNote online service. The selection boxes below allow you to select what parts of the document records you include depending on what you think you might need for your research. So in summary, to use this technique, you identify your core article in Web of Science, you use the citation network in the record of that article to identify new relevant articles and add them to a marked list. You then repeat the search strategy with the new articles and eventually export your final mark list by email or download for future use with your research. You are now ready to try this technique yourself and add this strategy to your searching repertoire.